Hi Scorpio, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your reading for July 22nd through the 28th. This is a message from my guides for you. Um, yeah, so this is a message from my guides. This reading will not be like anybody else's, okay? This is a, definitely a different message, okay? Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We are just going to see what comes up. We're going to start with this deck right here. Remember that the timing is fluid. We're going to get one of these. What do we have for Scorpio, dear God, angels, spirits, and universe? What do we got for Scorpio? For the week of July 22nd through the 28th, what message do they need to hear? Magician in the mirror. So it looks as though you guys have the power. You have the power. You're in your power. You have the power to manifest. What you see is what you get. Right? If you want it, you can call it in. You have the, you have the power. Okay? Um, <clears throat> as above, so below. So if you if you want it, Ask for it and believe in it and call it in. But the magician is also about taking action. It's about be willingness to surrender. Willingness to shed the old to bring in the new. Willingness to use those resources within you to call in what you desire. But you do have to surrender. You have a divine connection, Scorpio, this week. You do all the time anyway, but you're extremely powerful this week. Okay? So use that connection to your advantage, but make sure that you surrender to the universe's plan. So when you do manifest, you, you ask for what you want, but you don't put a name on it. Okay? All right. Now, I need to remind you that this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and you should be watching this on the YouTube channel Soul Source Tarot. This video, nobody has the rights to re-download this video and share it as their own. I do not authorize that. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're going to get one of these. So we do have somebody that has their own divine connection. And they have extreme manifestation powers this week. Okay? You can, you can, you can bring success as long as you use those powers in a positive way. So Scorpio... Now, this is, equals an eight, which is extreme abundance. You can call in something that is very, very abundant, but surrendering is key. We got two. I think we'll take them both because I just think we will. The first one is passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Now, that looks like a very passionate connection, huh? So you may be having... It could be a very passionate week. Ooh, wedding. This situation involves marriage. Maybe you're you're going to, you know, really fall in love with somebody. Whatever you're doing could lead to marriage. It could. Or you could be in a very passionate marriage right now. Whatever the case is, it's a very passionate week that has something to do with a wedding. Okay? Let's get one of these. Could lead to marriage, okay? Maybe you've called in a soulmate and you're going to end up marrying this person. You know, could be the case. Or you're already married to your soulmate. What do we got for Scorpio? Dear God, angels, spirits, and universe. Oh my gosh. Joy and delight. Open your heart to joy. This is fantastic. It is fantastic. So you guys are about to have a really good week, right? A really good week. Joy and delight. Do 
You do not need to suffer to grow. You can grow leaps and bounds through joy. True happiness comes from following the dictates of your soul. Do what gives you joy. Celebrate and have fun. Stop and embrace life, yourself, and others. Say yes. Say yes. Take steps today to expand your joy. You don't need to do it all at once, but you do need to start. Your purpose in life is to experience joy. Allow joy and ecstasy to flow through you wildly and freely. Share your love. Happiness spreads to others like wildfire. It can help heal the world. You are going to have a very passionate, happy week. I mean, I can't. It is what it is. That's great. Great. So what do we have for Scorpio? Dear God, angels, spirits, and universe. You could be getting engaged. The Four of Wands reverse is actually very good in the reverse position. This is an upcoming celebration. A relationship is about to be committed. Somebody is getting married or they're going to meet their partner or they're going to get in a commitment or something like that. I mean, whatever this is, it is, it is uh, you know, it's beautiful. Okay, it's beautiful. There's a uh, compatibility here. The, it's great. Knight of Cups, the world reverse, three of swords, five of swords reverse, which is good. It's the end of conflict. It's the end of suffering. I do. I believe there's a new romance budding. I do. I feel as with this world card, if you've been feeling incomplete and you have been feeling empty, I think it's about to come to an end. I really, really, really do. I feel like there could be some unfinished business here. I'm not sure what this is. The world reversed. This something isn't over. It's not over yet. Something is not over yet. Eight of Wands reversed. Ten of Wands reversed. Ten of Cups. Oh, wow. Temperance. This is what you've been waiting for. Queen of Coins, uh, you could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius. You could be dealing with a, a Cancer, another Scorpio, or a Pisces. You could be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. You could be severing ties with an air sign because this is severing ties. Or, a, a, you know, a fire sign. This is blocking uh, Libra, Gemini, or not Libra. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, I'm not sure, you, or, or you know this could be who's coming in. But this is putting the brakes on something. You could be putting the brakes on, on something that was weighing you down. You could be releasing, you could be making a conscious change to end a chapter in your life, to allow a commitment to come in, to allow yourself to find that partner. I feel like you guys have called in a soulmate here. I really do. I really, 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 really do. I feel as though the time is now to come together with whoever this is. I feel as though there's an opportunity to have a long-lasting relationship with somebody. I feel like whoever you're dealing with... Um, you know, this person may be a hard worker. This person may... Um, Focus more on their job. That could be an issue. Whoever you're dealing with, whoever you're dealing with may need to, you know, make some compromises. Or you do. This could go vice versa. Somebody may need to make some compromises in their life to make room for this relationship. Okay? You could be dealing with somebody who needs to, you know, release some responsibilities so that you can spend some more time together. I feel as though whoever this is that you're dealing with, you know, they may have been through a painful separation or you may have been through a painful situation, but this is an opportunity to heal together, to heal together. I think there's there's been, you know, maybe both of you have severed ties and you, you're feeling incomplete and empty and now you have this opportunity to, you know... This is your match, okay? This is like your mirror, okay? This is your person. What I, I know that just changed a little bit, but 
I feel as though you have really called in a soulmate. You've gone through some sort of transition and somebody is in your life or they are coming into your life that could really, uh, this person could really um, be your match. This person could be your match. So I feel like this is making a conscious change to let go of... <coughs> something okay these right here this is making the change to let go to drop it to drop a, something that was left unfinished so you may be closing a door without closure you know not the closure that you wanted maybe you got this you know maybe you've met somebody and you you just decide to go you just decide to you know i'm gonna move forward you know i feel as though there's a, there's a relationship that is really in focus. I think this may be sudden. I think it's sudden. I think that you probably didn't expect it. I feel as though the conflict is that you have been, you know, the suffering, the pain that you have been holding on to, the pain that you have been dealing with is over. This is a healing energy. This is... This is coming together with somebody that complements you very well, that you can work with. Um, yeah, Scorpio. I feel like you've got a new relationship. Somebody is interested in you. I think that they want to, have, they want to build a, a home with you. They want to build a relationship with you. Um, yeah, they want to build a stable relationship with you. They do. I feel like you were you were probably dealing with somebody in the past that was emotionally unavailable. Um, you may have held on to them because it felt good, because it was stable at one time, because maybe you were you maybe you were obsessed, maybe you were obsessed with holding on, maybe I don't know why, but this was somebody that was emotionally unavailable. But I think now you've got a new romance that is very compatible. I do think that you have one that is, it's the end. It's the end of pain. I think that you're, you're suffering and holding on to this unrequited love situation is over. I think that you have evolved. You do. I, I do. I think that you have evolved. I think that you're breaking free. I, this is taking back control of your life. You know, that's what it is. I, you know, I feel like you're breaking free from a toxic situation and you are starting a new relationship a new romance with somebody who is emotionally available this person is going to help you to heal this person is going to jive you guys are going to jive you're going to work together very well you know i feel as though you know whoever is coming into your life they're honest they're truthful um they're very logical, they're very open-minded, they're very intuitive. This person that is coming into your life is um, well, this person is a thinker. This person is a, th is a thinker. This person needs healing as well though you guys can help each other to heal whoever this person is there's an opportunity to, to heal together this person may come across as a little brash this person may have some financial issues this person may um seem a little cold you may be a little intimidated by this person this person may be a little stuck in their ways okay so you may need to get, be patient be patient with this person this person um has been hurt this person that you is coming into your life has been hurt very very badly and i feel like this person um is going to need you to be patient with them they're going to need your support they're going to need you to um help them help them break free of their mental limitations so you're dealing with somebody who has been very very hurt they want to have a relationship with you they want to have a relationship with you and i think that that it's a good match but i feel like you know 
you're going to need to be patient. You're going to need to be patient with this person. Um, they may they may have some fears. They may have some fears of of getting hurt again. So whoever you're dealing with, you know, I think that you should give them a chance. I feel like they do. It could it could really grow into happily ever after with this ten of cups. Um, the, I don't see it becoming toxic. I don't think it will become toxic. This is an opportunity. I think that you should hold on to. I feel like. Um, Whoever you're dealing with is an, is is beautiful. If you are the male watching this, you're probably dealing with a Taurus or a Libra. If you are, and this person is very beautiful. She has experienced pain, which I saw. She's been through a lot of pain, but she is so beautiful. She's so kind. She's so giving. She delivers. She's she's uh, she gives birth. Okay, and she doesn't give up. She doesn't give up. She doesn't chase other people. If you are the man, this person, she knows her value and she will treat you like a king. She will, if you are the male. Um, if you are the female, this is you. And this person sees your beauty. This person sees your beauty. They see your worth. They see your value. And they aren't going to let you go. So that's what I see. Good luck. We have the birth of a new life here. We have a brand new beginning. This is a blessing. This is a freaking miracle. Good luck.